First time in four years, Georgia has just executed a convicted murderer. We've been following the story for a while, and Atlanta News First anchor Tori Cooper is outside the state prison in Butts County. Tori, what have you just learned? Sean Blair, I just had a chance to speak with two of the journalists who were witnesses inside of the prison. Both of them walked out to greet the media and walk us through what they experienced. One of them was, as you can imagine, very emotional, but she did manage to really bring us there. So I'm going to try to paint this for our viewers a little bit. I'll look down at my notes periodically just because of, I want to be very uh, precise on what happened. So this took place at 11.03 tonight. That's when they say that all of them were brought in the room uh, and then in front of them they were able to see what was taking place. They say that Willie Pye was brought in on a gurney and a chaplain was there, the warden was there, a number of medical professionals were there and they told him did you want to have any last words? And he declined to share any last statements. And then the chaplain in the room said, would you like a final prayer? And he nodded yes. So then a prayer was given. And at that point in time, after the prayer, a man in the lab coat um, was already there and they did administer the injection into Willie Pye. And uh, the journalist that we spoke to said that Eventually, uh, he moved a little bit, but then stopped moving, and then medical professionals came back in, and that's when they started flashing a light into his eyes and also looking for a pulse and were able to confirm that Willie Pye had been executed successfully. So that's the very latest of what happened here. After that, the warden made a final statement just confirming what had happened. And right before that, he also was mentioning a few words to the audience and carrying out the execution order. So before and after the warden did speak and in the room, I asked, was there a lot of emotion there? And they said no. Um, it was very quiet inside and the journalist that I spoke to says it was peaceful. She says that he didn't seem distressed and the people inside the room all just made sure to be very quiet but she still was in tears and the other journalists that I spoke to from Atlanta who were in there they took very precise notes talked about the fact that his chest stopped rising and falling they talked about the fact that the warden made those statements so really they just said that it was a methodical situation but that's the very latest that we have out here Willie Pye was executed at 11.03 tonight We'll be right back after this break.